Hello, Troy here, CEO of LifeWise Agency. I'm super excited to do this reaction video today for 46 to 48 Kawara Street, right on the water in Kawara Beach. And for those that don't know me, I'm the CEO of LifeWise Agency, and we do buy a lot of residential real estate for our clients in and around Far North Queensland. We have a Cairns based office where we are working with a lot of clients, whether they're interstate or international, helping them navigate the Cairns property market. But yeah, super excited to do this reaction video today. This property is actually about to go to auction, I believe, in the next few weeks, and it's currently under an expression of interest process right now and may sell prior to auction. So let's have a look at this property. When I do these reaction videos, I like to look at the property through four different lenses. The first lens being location, the second lens being value for money, the third lens being bill quality, and the last lens, whether or not I would see great capital growth potential in this particular asset. Let's dive in guys, I'm super excited to watch this one. pretty funky uh, video as well and good luck to uh, Kyle Latham bought a lot of property off him and good luck with that sale buddy uh, I think you've got your hands full there with this sprawling mansion uh, look you know I said overall we wanted to dissect and analyze this potential deal uh, through four different lenses and yeah as you can see it's a pretty sprawling property uh, right on the water, and you know, you've got the, the northern beaches here, Cairns, and the surrounds. So, the first lens we were looking at this property through was location. And if we were to look at where this property sits in terms of the micro location in Cairns, not look at it on the macro sense in terms of where it is in Australia, if we just looked at it where it is in relation to Cairns. So, this house sits on the northern beaches roughly around 20 minutes, I'd say, from the airport. And you've got about 10 minute drive to Palm Cove also, and an additional, probably say, 60 minute drive to Port Douglas. It's right on the water as well, so you've got direct beach access. You've got this uh, pathway also running along the front here, and you've got the swimmable net, probably the best part of, I'd say, 50 to 100 meters uh, down the beach also but from a location point of view overall a uh, house this size built in cairns is it in the ideal location because generally you don't want to build a, uh, a mansion like this in the middle of nowhere or over capitalize in a particular suburb where you're never going to get those type of returns and if we looked at this location overall i'd probably say it is a good fit location wise uh houses along this waterfront here being this size and this big and this grand aren't uncommon. In fact, there's a lot of really big, nice properties along Kawara Street as a whole. And this particular street uh, here in Kawara Beach, alongside Clifton Beach, are sort of the only ones where you could have direct beach access, generally on the northern beaches north of Trinity Beach, because if you looked at some of the most popular northern beaches, uh, Trinity Beach in particular, and Palm Cove, both of those beaches, you have a lot of medium density uh, and high density apartments and boutique hotels that sit on the waterfront. So they take out away the opportunity for residential dwellings to have beach access. So in terms of where <clears throat> this location is, it's in a good location overall because it's actually only one of 
you know, two or three beaches in Cairns where you can have that direct beach access on the northern front of Cairns, which is a really desirable pocket overall. We've got a lot of people wanting to move into this area for lifestyle drivers. They want to, you know, walk along these tropical beaches, you know, enjoy the warm weather that also comes with living here. So from a location point of view, I think it definitely ticks the location box for me. Second lens we were looking at it through was value for money. Do I see value for money here? So at the moment, they're currently going through an EOI process and may take this property to auction. So that isn't really a price guide on this property at the moment, but I do know that there was a property for sale just last year, number 50 on the same street, that had a price guide of around $6 million and that was being sold by uh, Sotheby's and it's now been taken off the market and it hasn't moved. So that $6 million property never sold and it's probably just as big and just as nice as this property and it never moved. So I'd probably say from a value for money point of view, I wouldn't spend any more than six million knowing that the other property on the same street had a six million dollar price tag and it never sold. All right, number three was build quality. Build quality, well, you do need something pretty sturdy when you're generally this close to the beach. You obviously get a lot of that sea salt. It can create a lot of issues with your property. You are subject to erosion as well and high tides. So your property needs to be built to you know really high specification. And if you do look at that, you know, the roofs look brand new, the pool area looks really rock solid. The interior looks like it's all suspended uh, concrete and basically overall looks like a bunker. So I'd probably say it's been built to a very, very good quality. Uh, it does have those high ceilings and a pretty weird floor plan overall, but in saying that, Will it withstand the wild weather in Cairns with the rain downpour as well as tropical cyclones? Yes, I do. And will it withstand a lot of the issues that come with living directly on the beach? I think so as well. So from a build quality point of view, it looks very sturdy and well finished to me overall. And the last one is, could I see a property like this growing in value? So. Let's create a scenario where it did, let's say, sell. It's you know it hasn't sold yet, but if it did sell for around six million dollars, what would this property be worth? And I'd say ten years time. It's a hard one to to pick because in order for this property to let's say be worth around ten million dollars in ten years time, we're probably going to need maybe Palm Cove as well as Port Douglas, some of those big desirable properties that are there really doing the heavy lifting so that properties like this can be benchmarked against those. And there are some properties in Palm Cove and Port Douglas in particular that you know have that six, seven million dollar price tag right now and sell very easily. So if they sell, you know, in ten years time at around that, you know, a 12, 13, 14 million dollar mark then it's going to drag up properties like this when you start to benchmark where I reach against Port Douglas as well as Palm Cove. I can certainly see that happening. And yeah, overall, if you looked at, let's say, a property like this in 10 years' time being worth, let's say, $8 million or $9 million for that matter, if you were to then benchmark that against what you might get on the sunny coast, what you might get in Sydney, you know, what you might get in the north coast, around Byron Bay in New South Wales. I can probably say your dollar will stretch a lot further in Cairns getting a property up in the tropics than what it would uh, down in those areas in 10 years time. So I can probably certainly see this particular uh, property growing in value over the long term, that's for sure. And the Cairns Northern Beaches is very fundamental in terms of there's not a lot of new land supply in the pipeline. You've got water on one side, then you've got the mountain ranges on the other. So it's completely built out. So you know, what's going to happen with a lot, not a lot of whole bunch of new land supply it's going to put downward pressure on existing stock like this so they become an extremely rare type asset to hold over the longer term but yeah overall yeah i think you know you're probably going to make money there in about 10 years time if you spend roughly six million dollars on this property you know very soon there you have it guys for 46 to 48 
uh, Kawar Street in Kawar Beach. Let me know what you think in the comments and would you buy this property in Far North Queensland?